girl the mahogany child and i'm coming back to you with another video this video is going to be a little bit different um i'm gonna show you guys and i'm gonna attempt doing my acrylic nails at home like i've never done this before but i want to give it a try and if it comes out right maybe you guys can try it and then do a little something you know okay so this is the McCart Blue Nail Extension Gel Kit. This is what it looks like. This color. I don't know. I got. I was so attracted to the blue. Right? They had a purple set, but like, I love me some blue. So, this is what it comes with. So, they have the clear. They have like a really light teal blue and then they also have um baby blue like a little aqua the color of this box and then a dark blue and then this is the monomer that it comes with the slip solution and a nail filer washable and uh top coat and base coat so it also comes with like under all of this you have the dual forms i also got this cheap little um, uv gel light you know the the you know to dry it or whatever i'll put all the links in the description box down below so you guys can see where i got everything from Okay, so I guess I'm gonna start. I'm so nervous, guys, because I've never done this before. Okay, um, I, think I guess the first thing I'm gonna be doing is just cutting down my nails because they're kind of like long, yet, well, not long, but you know, they, they've grown out, you know. So I'm gonna be cutting them down, not in any particular shape, I'm just gonna be cutting them. I'm just gonna be taking off the grease from the nails. I don't really know how to. Um, I guess I'll use this. Okay. I'm gonna just use this, the purple side, and just take off this shit this way. Okay, so, done with that. I'm gonna move this off to the side. Okay. Make sure I have anything from this 
so next, let's see. I'm good. So now I'm going to pick out the color that I want to use. And I'm just gonna put base coat all over my nails. Guys, my dominant hand is my right hand, so the right just might look better than the left. So now we're just gonna let that dry for like a few minutes. I'm gonna just do this so it could dry faster. Maybe I should put on a little gloss. Good for 
this one. So I'll put that to the side. I'll put it. So, four for this one. Let's see. Is this a four also? I think this is a four also. So I got two fours. I'll probably use a five for my index finger. Yeah, I think five does it for my index. And then for my thumb, let's try a three. Yeah, I think a three does it for my thumb. And for my pinky, let's try. Um, I'm just going to take my monomer and just put that inside this little tiny cap thingy. No, it does not come with it. This is just what I have, so it's what I'm going to use. I have a, I don't know why I can smell So, I'm going to use some paper towel. You know how they just be dabbing on their paper towel or something? Something like that, like... I'm trying to be like the little nail technician. Okay. So. That's that. Okay, so. Moment of truth. So this is the double brush and picker. So this is the picker side. And this is the brush side. Okay, yeah, so I kind of want to do an ombre, but I'm like super scared, okay? I don't know if I should do it like dark to light or light to dark. I'm gonna do light to dark, okay? So first, we're gonna open this up. like toothpaste. <laughs> so we're gonna let's do my thumb. Okay. Let me just make sure this is correct. Yes it is. So we're gonna do my thumb first. We're gonna mm -hmm. use the picker. We're gonna take the dog like this. Scoop it up off the spatula. This is so scary. I'm scared. Oh, I'm nervous. That's why. Okay. And then we're just gonna lay it on like so. We're just gonna scrape it all up on there. And then take all of it. I'm gonna take my monomer and my brush and just wipe it clean a little bit. I'm gonna just kind of pat. Oh, this is actually cool. Okay. I'm just 
gonna pat it down. I'm super scared. Okay, so it's coming off. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I think I need more. So my camera happened to die at this part, but um, I put the darker blue over the lighter blue and I just started smoothing it out. You just want to swipe it towards, towards the um, other blue, the lighter blue. Violet 
trying to do a coffin. Stupid, I'm not gonna let you get the chance. That's not, this is not straight. Let me not do that. <laughs> let me not do that. I'm gonna shape this nicely, but it's kinda hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like hard to do this side. Mm -hmm. And it formed pretty nicely, but it's not, it's not terrible. It's not like amazing. Probably if I did one color, it probably would have been better. But I mean, it's not that bad, you know? It could have been better. Let me get the top hole, this thing. So let's see. It's not that bad. Not even gonna lie to you. It's already shiny, so that top coat. That top coat is, is just gonna do some justice from what I'm seeing. This thing looks like it's not coming around, off around the edges, so I guess what I'm gonna do, like next time, like when I'm doing the rest, I'll clean it off right away. Unless you open the top coat. I'm gonna do the other one later because I might take that off and redo it. I don't know. And then we're gonna just put that one like so. This thing is giving me like the world vibes. World vibes. It's giving me world vibes. <laughs> like, that has some green, you know. I'm probably gonna test out the other colors. Yeah. I'm gonna try to do the rest of them and then I'll come back to you guys and show you how it comes out. Cause right now, it's looking at me. <laughs> Like, what is it? Like, I don't know. It's looking iffy. So I'm gonna cure this and then I'm gonna come back to you guys. Okay, so I finished two and I did like Marvel. I did like Marvel and I redid my thumb because I didn't like. Y'all saw that jump was just horrendous, like. And I did coffin as well. I'm not gonna redo this one. I'm just gonna leave it how it is. But let me see if I can continue. So basically, what I did to get the marble, let me get my dual form. I took my dual form, and I pushed my cuticle back with the dual form. I took my special with me and then I took okay. I took the light blue one. 
I squeezed out a little like so. And then I just put it on the dual form. I didn't use the spatula, I just scraped it onto the dual form just like that. And that's on it. So then I took my no slip solution and then I just patted that down. This thing takes long. Like, I didn't even think it was gonna take this long, but this thing takes long. Like, I think it's for hours. <laughs> and I only got three done. With interruptions. So now I'm gonna take the slip solution and then I'm just gonna flatten it out. But the way that I'm gonna flatten it out, I'm gonna be pushing so it can make like little, not really, like holes in it. Like I'm gonna make it flat, of course, but I'm gonna be making holes. Like so, I'm gonna like that, like that, like straight down. Holes. and then spread it along like so I just do that all around the entire form. And I'm gonna take the back end of the you know little scraper, picker, whatever it's called, and I'm just gonna form like little lines-ish just so it can look better. Show. I'm just gonna use the back end and just 
create a few squiggly lines. And then I'm just gonna smooth it out again. Okay, so now I feel like everything looks good. Let me show y'all. Yeah, I feel like that looks fine. So now I'm gonna turn my thing on. I'm gonna put it on gently and carefully. And then I'm not gonna squish it flat flat, but I'm just gonna squish it flat enough. I'm gonna take the no slip solution because we're not gonna have it coming out like the first one. Y'all saw that mess, atrocity. And then we're just gonna take. Just go around, I'm sorry, we're just gonna go around the edges, clean it up. Thanks for watching. Bye.